Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby, and today Davat is going to show us how to play in the Comet. This is the final replay from the Comet competition. And he is playing on what many of you guys have been telling me. When I, all met, when I met you all at Gamescom, I was asked, constantly asking you, Hey, what's your favorite map? What's your favorite thing that I do? These kind of questions. And everyone says that they love Harkov, this fantastic map that was added in patch 9.1, I think it was, of the game. And Devat is going to make the best use of this excellent matchup for the Comet. There are only four tanks on the enemy team that are tier 7. And the Comet, with extra high DPM, can rip apart equal tier tanks, but especially lower tier vehicles. So he puts his first shot of the game into the T-25. And probably one of the reasons why you guys love Harkov this much is because of the action right off the bat. You can see both teams often plow straight down the middle. And it turns into this wonderful fight where it's everyone's trying to outflank each other. And instant action. But with enough cover to be able to still hide from your enemies. Unfortunately, we're seeing the limitations of the penetration of the Comet bouncing the first shot against that tier 6 Chinese medium tank. The second one manages to go in. Devat sees this T-25 playing aggressively in front of him. And it looks like he wants some of the action too. He puts in a couple of good shots. Gets a little stuck. Continues around the corner. And engages a KV-1S who is focused on killing another Comet. Now that they've managed to kill one Comet, they've got to worry about this one. Puts a kill on the KV-1S. And begins to pick apart this T-25. Makes a bit of a bad shot there, missing one. But he's not letting it bother him as he finishes him off. And in true medium tank style, the enemies just keep coming. But he's just got to keep that gun singing. And his team are behind by four tanks now. It's four versus eight. Even though Devat has picked up two kills, make that three kills. So the Type 59 put out his death throws into Devat there. Taking out his gun. Now we have an even fight. Comet versus Comet. Devat is making good use of the fact that the Comet does have a commander's hatch. And he realizes that the best bet right now, considering we're outnumbered so heavily, is to get forwards and to kill them. So he picks up his fourth kill of the game there. And sees that there's a Type 58 is engaging a tier 7 German medium tank, the VK3002D. RNG happens and he misses a shot and sees that this Soviet medium tank is zerging towards him. He sets him on fire beautifully which makes the T43 unable to turn as effectively. But he is experiencing, I just got to pause this because this is happening so quickly. So, he managed to set the T-43 on fire, and because when a tank is on fire, it can't turn as quickly. It rocketed forwards, missing the ram, allowing Devat to be able to put, well, to evade him and turn it into a brawling fight here. One of the problems with the Comet is that while it will have 12 degrees of gun depression over the front of the tank, because of this, the way that the engine deck is designed, it has no gun depression over the rear of the tank. What that means is that Devat probably is wanting to aim down here, but he simply can't. And so he's unable to kill this T-43 because he's shooting him in the turret, which is fairly well armored. Because he doesn't have the gun depression to engage him. So he realizes he needs to turn his tank to the side and his gun depression returns, allowing him to finish off the T-43. Now he's got to deal with this German medium. Now he's reduced to 42 health. But thankfully, his DPM allows him to take out the tier 7 medium on the enemy team. And oh gosh, it's not over yet. A 
tier 5 tank is starting to make his way towards him. He bounces one. Bounces two. Bounces three. Bounces four. And manages to pick up the kill, doing 600 damage to the VK 3001H very quickly. Holy moly, seven kills now, including killing the entirety of that tank without taking any damage. What a miracle that was. And it's a good thing too, because the enemy have got 70 5% of the cap done. They have to interrupt in the next 20 seconds or they're going to lose the game. So Devat is working with this KV-1S who rushes forwards and Devat puts off the interrupting shot and working with the high alpha damage of the KV-1S they're able to take out that tier 6 medium tank. The Panther prototype very quickly. This game's not over yet. Even though Devat has picked up 8 kills and done 3,600 damage, it's still remarkably close. There's a Tiger on the enemy team who had full health, but this KV-1S he's playing with is doing well. He manages to penetrate the Tiger, taking away 25% of his hit points. Devat puts in a good shot into the Tiger, who fires one at the KV-1S, but the Tiger has got an excellent rate of fire. The bat has to be careful here that he doesn't turn around, but the Tiger's reacting a little too slow. Now he turns his turret to the side, which should allow the KV-1S to be able to take him out. The KV-1S bounces or misses. And Devat now has a nice, easy kill at the end of the game to secure his ninth. What a fantastic result that was. So Devat never gave up in this game. While he was outnumbered, he was never outgunned, and that is the advantage of the Comet. He was able to quickly pick apart every tank that came at him one by one by one. And with a little bit of luck and a lot of skill, he was able to win the game for his team. The only real hairy moment that we saw in this replay was when Devat was trying to aim over the back of the Comet, which is something you can never do. As demonstrated, the gun depression is negligible and it will get you into a hell of a lot of trouble very quickly. Nevertheless, he figured it out and he managed to secure the game. So congratulations to you, Devat. I will be sending you 2,500 gold. So let's just take a quick look at the post-game stats. So Devat got 5,645 experience for his double, but that's with some kind of event payout that's been going on at the moment. This was a 2,509 experience non-double, that's 1,673 without the premium account. So that got a plethora of hero medals. He got the Radley Walters, the Steel Wall, the Defender, High Caliber, and a Spartan medal. And that was like a mega Spartan medal. I swear he absorbed five shots there from the VK3001H while he killed the entirety of the enemy tank. This replay was definitely fast and explosive, so much so that I had to pause it in the middle to keep up with the commentary as Devat was able to pull off a whopping 4,400 damage in a game that lasted six minutes. So thank you so much for this replay. I had a lot of fun watching it and hopefully everyone else did too. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, do please consider rating it down below. It really helps the channel out. And let me know in the comments what you think about Devat and his gameplay here. And let me know what you think of Harkov as a map now that we've had an extensive amount of time to play it. Do you like it more than Himmelsdorf or Runeberg or do you dislike it? For what reason do you as well? Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.